Here are the uh, big end components from that uh, Royal Enfield 500 Electra X that I've stripped down because it was making noises and it turned out to have a small amount of play in the big end and rivets in the uh, crankshaft oil seal and lots of horrible sealant goo everywhere and here's the old crank pin you just perhaps make out where these hard thrust washers have been sort of karate chopping their way into the crank pin um, so they were jangling around and hammering into that which would have made a noise plus the two thou or so play in the big end that we had but anyway all that lot's out now and I've rebuilt the crankshaft with uh, new crank pin, comrade, roller big end and uh, they are sort of phosphor bronze I think uh, thrust faces instead of those hardened steel ones and they're also a much closer fit than the crank pin so they won't jangle around and generally sort of chop themselves and other things to bits. I pressed the crank together that all went quite nice and I've got the clocks on here set up and I'm very very pleased with this. I did a before video of this crank and there was far more uh, run out showing even though the, the dials did actually rise and fall together cancelling each other out in effect this I'm very very pleased with we can see there on the imperial gauge that you've got certainly no more than perhaps a whisker under one thousandth of an inch there on that one and on this one we haven't even got 0 0.02 of a millimetre, so we haven't even got two thousandths of an inch there. If we did have two thousandths of an inch there, and the one there, the needles are rising and falling together, together. so that would give an overall real world differential of one thousandth of an inch run out. So, in real terms, we've got no more than that. We're possibly even a that's under one thousandth of an inch run out on this crank assembly at the main shafts and you really just could not wish for or probably even get better than that so that should be a very very smooth running and quiet engine I'm more than happy with that and made up with that I don't think I've ever done better than that I got close to that I've probably got that figure a few times but you have to be going some to beat that. So it won't be too long before we uh, find out what the engine runs and sounds like anyway because I'll be starting starting on the rebuild work very very soon. So uh, that'll be the next video will probably show some other stage of that.